Customers and Youth in Focus for Tobago Day. School Diabetic Forum promoting healthy lifestyles and the island to join in International Games Day celebrations. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. We begin with Tobago Day and some of the exciting activities planned before the main event. Caroline Wallace has the details. Tobago Day celebrations will begin in just over one week. Sophia Cooper, a member of the Tobago Day Committee, says one of the main activities on the schedule of events is Customer Appreciation Week. We have the Customer Appreciation Week, each division really showing the public what they have to offer their services and really the best of what Tobago has to offer. In addition to that, there is a praise and worship function at 5 p.m. at Shaw Park. Schools and youth organizations are also included in the celebrations, with a cultural explosion set for Monday, November 29th. Ms. Cooper says this year's celebrations will incorporate the island's political, cultural, and social history. And to really give birth to what that celebration should be, the idea is that Tobago Day should be celebrated by all. So that is really the foundation behind why it's now called Tobago Day. The action starts on Saturday, November 26th with a football tournament featuring teams from the THA divisions. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. Now to news of health and a special forum tackling health issues in school children. Here's this story. The number of children with diabetes in Trinidad and Tobago is growing. Creating awareness to stem this tide is one of major motivations behind the school's diabetic forum, which was hosted yesterday at the Scarborough Library facility. Dr. Maxwell Adeyemi says this forum educates students on why a healthy lifestyle is important. There's type 1 diabetes, which is as a result of uh, body's intrinsic lack of um, insulin. And then you have the type 2 diabetes, which is um, common in adults, but unfortunately we're seeing you know, more and more cases in, in, in younger population now. Dr. Adeyemi says over 90% of diagnosed cases of diabetes worldwide are type 2. You also have the gestational diabetes, which is something that comes, the type of diabetes that comes in pregnancy. Uh, the significance of that is that it does have impact on the mother during pregnancy and also the baby. Dr. Adeyemi says proper nutrition and exercise will help reduce the number of people impacted by diabetes. I'm Jose Ambrassi for Info Update. Now for a bit of fun and games as the Tobago Library Services gets ready to observe International Games Day. Home at Mills with more. The Tobago Library Services will join over a thousand libraries worldwide to commemorate International Games Day at your library. It's the ninth annual edition of the initiative aimed at connecting communities through their libraries. The island's libraries are inviting the public to join in the fun. On Friday, the Roxborough Library and Roxborough Secondary School will collaborate to host games at the library from 11.45 a.m. to 2 p.m. Activities at the Charlottesville Library will run from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. on the same day in the Arthur Moore Auditorium. On Saturday at the Scarborough Library facility, gaming will take place between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. This includes popular board and computer games such as chess, checkers, snakes and ladders, Scrabble, Call of Duty and FIFA 2017. I'm Amadara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Updates. <laughs>